Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. So today Adobe announced an amazing new feature in Adobe Premiere, which is a generative extend. I'm gonna put it to the test. Here's a video that I just uh, finished creating. I, this side of us an, a still image from Mid Journey. And then I took it to Kling uh, 1.5. Uh, it's a image to video generator. And I was able to generate this, but then somewhere in between here i encountered a situation where i had run out of frames right and you will see about i'm gonna play it back so you get a chance to actually catch it and then we'll be able to deal with it so you see right there all right let me rewind this so you can actually hear and i'm gonna turn on the audio for a second so here goes well um do i think i am a good singer uh, oh you want to share what if i have a demo of my music okay but, okay, but please, please, please don't laugh at me. Um, but also, here's the thing. I've been practicing, right? So I'm trying to break into the industry as an indie reggae artist. Um, yes, I have, a, I have a demo for you. I'm going to sing for you. Yes, it, it has a bit to it too, yeah. Uh, are you ready? All right, here it goes. Down this stream of life, gently, gently roll. With every stroke and strife Beneath the golden glow So don't you give up, give up, give up Hope and love away Down this stream of life Gently, gently roll With every stroke and strife Beneath the golden glow so don't you give up, give up, give up, hope and love away. Okay, so what do you think of it? Do you like it? All right, guys, I don't know if you caught it, but somewhere in between here, as I was trying to, like, you see right there? So the reason I did that is because I ran out of frames. <laughs> Let me mute this so it doesn't distract it. But when I play back this part right here, right in there, I ran out of frames and I had to like put like a blend. I had to put like some image in like another clip in the background. So that's what this at uh, uh, the new feature in adobe premiere is supposed to help right so let me minimize this so it's able to auto extend if you get like a point where the the audio and the video runs out you can just drag and draw and extend it it automatically generates that so let's see if this actually works all right so let me go ahead and open my project and because this was a, a previous version of our premiere it's going to auto convert it this is the better version if you don't want to overwrite any of your other projects so it's opening it now and already let me see close this right here there it is i see the generative extend tool okay so let's go over here we're gonna do i'm just gonna get rid of all that and let's go back to our course so this is our comp right here it's opened and this is a, just a, a template I use for my video edits. But let's go ahead and find those clips where I ran out of footage. Okay. And I'll show you exactly. So let's try. All right. Moment of truth. Okay. So right in here. So this is where I'm running out of uh, footage. And let me mute the audio so that again doesn't distract us too much. Let's mute this one. So this is in Adobe Premiere, the better version. Hopefully by the time you watch this, if it's in the future, they've released it. But this right here is the situation that I ran into. So what I did was I put a video on top so that I could co like compensate. <laughs> So let's see if it actually works. So let me mute, let, let's uh, hide this video right here. So there should be like a blank like frame right there. So let's see. And let me just turn off the solo part a little bit. There it is. Turn that off. All right. So this is the culprit right here. 
and let's expand this and so the idea is to get this tool right here generative extend click it you can create a new ways okay agree it looks like you have to agree to the <laughs> user guidelines click agree okay so it has loaded the model check that your media okay so right here is where we want to extend so i'll drag wait generative extend requires clips either 1920 resolution ha ha all right let's see reveal in project so here's the clip and this clip is 1920 by 1088 oh okay guys so you need to make sure that your footage is exactly uh, HD, which is 1920 by 1080, but this one is 1088. So I need to fix that. All right, give me a second. Let me go ahead and fix that. And I'm going to bring up the media encoder. So let me go ahead and let's look for this. Right click on it, reveal in Explorer. All right, so here's our clip. And I'm going to go and bring up the media encoder. Adobe Media Encoder, because we need to make sure. So this was rendered using Kling, and it looks like Kling adds <laughs> a few more pixels to the footage. Uh, okay, let's fix that. No problem at all. So we'll get our video over here, drag and drop it. So if you are doing using Kling, just be, uh, just want, just be, aware that this is going to happen so we're going to crop this so that it actually matches hd standards and we want to use crop uh, 16 by 9 which is this one and you can see how it trimmed off the top and the bottom okay 1920 by 1080 so those little black bars tiny black bars at top and bottom are gone so we'll click okay and we're going to save it in the same place we'll call this b click okay and let's render that. All right, so we should have one that's exactly 1920 by 1080. The one that ha that was rendered using a clink was 1088. So just be aware of that. So we need to replace that. So let me copy this path right here. And let me go over here and replace. Okay, replace. Okay, let's select replace footage. And we're gonna do one B, this one, because that's the one we fixed. Select. Okay. So this is one B right here. So now if I select the two again, let's first make sure this is where we want to connect. All right. This is the one we want to extend. So select the generative extend tool. And boom. All right, let's see what it does. So it's up it's generating it says it's uploading so does that mean it's uploading to the cloud which makes me think that if you're working on with this it's going to upload if it's your content is like it has sensitive material in it uh just be aware it looks like it uploads this somewhere <laughs> at least that's what i saw let me know what you guys think okay it's generating and let's see how long it takes i'm very curious to see what the result is going to be but if this works, that means that, man, any time that you run short on your footage and you feel like, oh, my gosh, I wish I could extend this clip and just cover up that space, that this will, be, will come handy. Now, there are so many uh, areas where AI is impacting us as artists, and some of it uh, definitely is in negative ways, uh, being laid off and things like that. But I think this right here, is a good implementation of artificial intelligence because it's able to take whatever footage that you have and then create new frames for you to be able to fill in the gaps where you may have. Like if you'd gone out in the field, because I am a cinematographer, I've experienced this where I've gone out, shot a clip, and then come back to the editing environment only to realize that I don't have enough footage. Now, in this case, this clip Again, it's side of like has a still image from Mid Journey, and it ran out of footage. So, okay, let's see what how it looks. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. 
I need to see it. So it was so quick. So it filled it in, guys. <laughs> That's what's really, really cool. So which means for the parts that I didn't like, for example, when I go back here a little bit. So there's another part here. Right there. So there's an, another part where I had to fill in. And I put on, I put like a clip in the fog. I put her head like right there smiling. So let me turn that off as well. And let's do it again. So now it looks like I'll definitely have to go back and fill in. Make sure this footage is also 1920 by 1080, which is probably isn't because it was generated with Clink. And then be able to fill in this space right here. So this is where it comes handy. And because I don't want to make this video too long, I just wanted to show you that it, uh, it does actually work, right? Because we were able to fill in this gap right here. It was able to connect. Like there. So from here, it filled in. And the reason that you can see that there's a difference is over here, it's the same problem that I was encountering right here. Okay. So guys, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> and uh, maybe, let me see if I can do, this is a little bit of a longer one. So let me just go back again to media over here. Let's bring our footage back. I know this one is needs to be fixed. Go back to this crop. Let's see. Go to source, go to crop. Make sure it's using 16 by 9 and there are little bars that have been created. Output and you can actually see it right there. Let's turn this off. Make sure it is 1080. It keeps doing that. Okay. 1920. Okay. And they're gone. And let's export this as B. So it's going to be tries to, no, this one. And we'll make it B as well. The second one. Save. Uh, click OK. Export. Okay. Done. Let's go back and replace that footage. And let's go right click, reveal in project, which is down here, reveal in project. This one, so right click and replace the footage. And we're gonna find that footage, which is this one, select it. And so it has been replaced. So now if I go here with all that space, which I filled in with this, video right here right there so we're gonna fill in that space so let's turn that off let's see what it does right so it's gonna take from here let's click on the generative extent tool and boom all right and that's it <laughs> that's amazing and the next part is i want to actually see if i can extend this audio from here to here that's actually her singing so uh, maybe I don't need to do that part because these are the two different audio clips. But let's see what it does. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's awesome that uh, they mean this is a new tool and it's available. By the way, if you go to your Creative Cloud desktop, the uh, uh, Premiere Pro Beta is available in your app. So you go to all your apps over here, but then there's the beta beta testing tab. Click on uh, Premiere Pro Beta. Click on install if you haven't installed it, and then you'll be able to open it and then open a project that you've probably worked on previously, do a backup of it, and then go through and see. So right now it's uh, going through and extending that. Man, this is gonna change the way we do editing and it's gonna kind of alleviate the, the stress of thinking, oh boy, we messed up. We didn't shoot everything that we needed. And so they, um, I've been reading that uh, Adobe is trying to do a better job of making sure they use ethical data sets. I truly, truly hope that is true because, you know, this is uh, one of those pain points that we as artists are being um, 
our artwork is being used it was scripted on the internet and it's being used by these uh, ai com companies to then train their you know platforms without compensating the artists and that is really really painful for me as, as, as an illustrator as an animator if you're a videographer and you've had your footage online somewhere of course this will be impacting you as well so i am praying and i'm hoping that we find a better way of doing this okay so here goes this is the part that has been filled in <laughs> guys remember there was this space right here so here goes okay so there are issues i can definitely see some issues because it re it seems to have repeated the words okay so that part didn't work so well and love away okay <laughs> So obviously it works in some cases. It doesn't work the best like for lip sync. But this is an uh, example of where it's a, when it's a longer stretch, you can definitely see that the way it repeated those words, which it shouldn't have. And I think because maybe the audio is not part of this, it would have, maybe if the audio was there, it would have been able to listen to the audio and notice that there's a silence there and she's closing her eyes anyway. But this is a quick test again, guys, to see how Generative Extend works in Adobe Premiere, the better version, the new one that has just been announced by Adobe. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video and may we continue to use these tools to tell our stories and I'm going to pray for you guys, all the artists out there that are impacted by these layoffs, the, the, this whole, it's like a, a tsunami of AI programs that are coming onto the scene. I'm hoping and I'm truly hoping that we, with the, all these companies that are coming together that we get to a point where we are using this ethically, that artists are compensated for the work that they've done that we i am compensated for the work that i've created that the people are using you know out there so but the reason i'm doing this test guys is so that we can actually see how what we're up against and the tools that are available right now and they benefit the pros and cons of doing that so you can see it was able to fill in this gap right here right and but it struggled because here it repeated the words so those are the challenges that I want you to be aware, guys. So anyway, have a blessed day. Much love. See you in the next video. And please, if you've used this, let me know your thoughts and what your uh, like your attitude is towards Will you be using it more often? Will you avoid it? Uh, clearly, it still has some work to be done. And maybe that's why it's in beta right now so that we can test it and then give Adobe feedback. Thank you, guys. Uh, bye for now. Stay blessed.